Welcome back to another episode of Talk That Talk. Yeah. It's your boy Reese. It's your boy Jay Cook. And Mama. we brought. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> we we brought back. Mama. Uh, we brought <laughs> back. Jers. Ow, ow. A guest from last week, and we also brought a very very special guest, our mother, onto yeah. the podcast episode today. Um, Long let's, overdue. Let's dive straight into it. I think uh, we wanted to bring Jersey back on because we wanted to get a little bit more personal. You guys wanted to know a lot more about her. We apologize for not asking uh, as many questions as we wanted to last podcast, but figured Thanks. we'll bring you back on. Mom, you, we know you're so excited. <laughs> 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 She's been wanting to come on. What have you guys been up to um, the past week? What day is it? <laughs> what day is it's it? It's Tuesday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. So, so the technically weekend. the weekend. What did we do? Oh, I had my first soccer game Friday. Yeah. <laughs> I had my fun. first indoor soccer game, so that was lit. Um, Jordan had his game That's afterwards, cool. so we did that Friday, Saturday, birthday parties, hung out with the whole family, and then this Sunday. This was your first soccer game in a long time, right? Yeah. This was your first I soccer game in what? I was mad slow. Like, I yep. was ridiculously Bro, slow. Jersey has always been slow. I'm just not fast, and there's nothing that I can do about it. Even <laughs> if I get in the gym and run on the treadmill, I'm just no, not fast. No, Jersey so. can be fast. She That's just, all that it is. When she she's runs, she looks like goal. she. When she runs, she looks like she's not trying. <laughs> well, that's not true. I just run weird. My arms are kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. Like Aaron showed me the video of me that she took, and the way that I was running was so embarrassing. But it like, does like oh when God. she does when she does like try and body up, like she'll actually like. There's no yeah, just an easy body up uh, for Jersey. Uh. She's gonna open up her elbow and stick <laughs> it in your back. And what about <laughs> it? What about it? Nah, you, I don't think a lot of people even know that you played soccer. No, yeah. When I posted, mm-hmm. or I, I got messages. mom's yeah. um, post of me and Anthony on her story, and everyone's like, you played soccer? Da, da, da. I actually played soccer my freshman year you and sophomore year. You played soccer since you were four. Yeah. But you four? Played, no, four not old. four. Six. No, she was four. Six. Okay. Girl, I heard you four? at the complex Who say that she was six. Memory? I never said that. I have a terrible memory, so me. honestly, I don't remember. I never said that. <laughs> I said four. It was definitely four. And and you played in junior high and high school. You made the varsity team as a freshman. Look at her trying to talk about me. Yeah, yeah you I know. Made, you like, made varsity as a freshman? Yeah. Bro, what? Who mm-hmm. was the, what coach was putting you in front? Really, that's crazy. that was the JV coach. Bro, it doesn't matter that he was. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter that matter. he was the JV coach. It was illegal it was for your dad to coach you, basically. And he didn't so coach they me. Had no other choice. He did not coach me. That's I'm kidding. The thing. Uh, so there's a reason. Jordan is my biggest hater when it comes to soccer. <laughs> no, nah, you guys so do whatever. be going at it. Yeah, but soccer. he actually texted her afterwards and told her she did a good yeah, job. Do I need to pull up the got text smashed, message? But she did score the first goal. At least you, you and Anthony smash. scored. Yeah. yeah. That was all Anthony cared about. Like, everyone was like, does he realize he just lost the game? He but he was on. He yeah, her, on her, and Jordan, wrong. her and Anthony <laughs> yeah. were the only ones that scored in the, on the team. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So that was actually pretty cool. Mom, so yeah, what that you was been my up weekend. to? You don't even have to tell us about your weekend. What have you been up to in, like, general? Because you're mm. – tell them about, like, kind of how your situation. I just like, do a bunch of random stuff. Day. <laughs> yeah, I don't think people even understand like what what you do. Every I just day. do a bunch of random stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I mean, I help a lot with Jersey's work, like mm-hmm. sending, you know, emails and following up on a bunch of different stuff, and like I'm more like her um, administrative assistant, like doctor <laughs> appointments, all that type. Yeah, of stuff. like I just make sure she knows her schedule, and she's so, actually. Momager. Momager, yeah, yeah but I'm not actually her manager. But yeah, she the older she gets, the less she needs me. But does very, that? Oh, yeah, like when it comes to when it comes to that. Does very it get similar to you when you were, you know, when you were like her age? I did like, hey, don't forget you have this, you know. Yeah, yeah always on. Top does it get stressful it. for you having your mom as a like manager, basically, or assistant? No, I don't think it gets stressful. I don't think it's stressful at all. Um, no, I love. But mom there are being, definitely times I where she's like, "I'm not working today." Oh yeah, <laughs> well of course because we're mom. we live with each other and she's obviously home all the time, just as I am since my job is basically at home. But there will be times, like she said, when I'm like, "Okay, I need you to like stop telling me what work I have to do because I'm not working right now." So I have to like, find the like, right moment. Yeah. Like, okay, is it 
when she's eating, when she's coming out of the bathroom, like, she's one oh, of those, by the way, you have uh, this to do. Yeah. She's one of those people you got to catch at the, you, both of you guys are yeah. no, first off, don't, you got to catch anything, at the right time. If anything, like, that's what? you. Do no. we want to Are you dead, bro? We gotta are you catch serious? You at the right time. We can, number one, I'm always in a great vibe. Every like, time, yep, it's okay, just I might be, vibe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I might be a little, like, I might be a little like, all right, like too, like okay, let's get this shit, like make it snappy, like I'm ready that, to. I will sometimes I'm ready to come disagree. in and get out real quick. <laughs> that's not sometimes. That's Damn near time. every time, you're the last to get there and the first <laughs> one to leave every <laughs> single time. Because time is just. Bro, energy. me and Raylene are always down no, to do but stuff. But it's not about being on time. What we're saying is that if it's the right time to talk to you about yeah. something. If anything, I out of you. everyone in the family, that's you. Mm. Because I'm not even there's lie. times when you're like, I like I don't even care what you're saying to me right now. I'm just pissed off for some sort of reason. So the way that you say a conversation is like, and I don't know, catch my, Jersey or Justice in the morning. Don't catch me in the they morning. They will not. I'm, not fun. I'm been I've been up 7:30. Nah, in the you morning guys are recently. some mean ass yeah. people in the Swear morning. To God, yeah, they're they're, they're mean in the well, morning. Well, that's good. That's good that you're doing that. But me, on the other hand, I'm mean in the morning. Jersey is super mean in the morning. Yeah, I'm just like, mm -mm, don't so mess with me. what do you guys feel like? I know a lot of people ha always are asking us, like, I always see a lot of comments or people DMing us saying, damn, I wish my family was like your guys is or I oh, wish we had sweet. I had a connection like you guys have with your family. You guys are so tight. You guys keep a good bond. What do you guys feel like we've all done correctly to be able to stay so to maintain a healthy yeah, family relationship yeah. to maintain a healthy family Jordan, relationship you can go first. for all these years especially like i feel like it gets harder as we get older it does and we're all trying to like accomplish do. our own things mm -hmm. and go our own ways mm -hmm. that you got to remember like we still got to come back and mm -hmm. stay close together so what do you guys feel like we've done right who wants to go first well, you want me to answer first yeah go ahead <laughs> i want to hear what you gotta say uh i think just seeing each other a lot um every fucking day <laughs> nah Clearly. we don't see you every day bro yeah we i see... stay in contact if i'm not seeing you, you guys i've been getting better with i respond in the group chats yeah. Yeah. i, but I might be a little this. late but I'm let's also... just say this justice has always been like that we've mm. known it's it's not like yes maybe a little bit now it's been or like a little bit now it's been more often where it's kind of like you're slowing down with seeing us but we do know it's always he's been like, OK, I have something to do today, so I'm not going to hang out with you guys or it's like. And I feel like my like, my reasoning on like not maybe not being at everything as much as you guys are is like I get drained quick. Yeah, so you, like yeah. I'm the type of person where like if I'm if I did a lot throughout the day, you guys would still like pull up and be like, fuck it, I'm going to be there. I'm yeah. just going to be tired and I'm going to be there. I'm the type where I'm like. I don't even want to give you guys that type of energy. You have to so reset. I'ma just yeah. I'ma just wait till tomorrow or the yeah. next day and then I'll come back. So that's why I pop up randomly or if I, I go to the it. gym. I also or feel like if we didn't have the girls, I feel like we'd probably be be a little more distant as well. They just it's so easy. I mean also like the girls' school is right next to your house. So that's I why know, we're exactly. almost there every single day right. after Ileana gets out of school and um, but I definitely think like if the girls weren't present, it would be a little bit more distant. Mm -hmm. Not like intentionally, but yeah. I just feel like yeah. you're trying to give so, them that relationship. As yeah. Well, make yeah. It so too. what do you think? What do you or what do I you think, think that how out. we've kept a good help or just hanging out? Hanging out and doing stuff. Sunday dinners mm -hmm. at least twice a month and. We do uh, them more than twice a month. Yeah, I really think <laughs> twice a week. we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday dinners all the time. I actually get this question Monday, a Tuesday, lot. Wednesday. Like, um, I get you know like messages all the time on TikTok and oh, you sorry. keep moving your mic away. Oh, it feels like it's like right up there. You don't in like here. the big mic. Yeah. By your face. Okay, let's not go there. <laughs> but I do. I get this question a lot, and I feel like communication. Um, as deaf communication mm -hmm. is probably the number one thing that I feel like we do really well as a family unit. And then also like no judgment. I think that, and that can be hard sometimes. Um, but I feel like not judging each other makes it a safe environment. Like, Facts. and I know it's different cause I'm your mom obviously, but I feel like 
you guys know that this is a safe environment. Like our little circle is a safe environment no mm -hmm. matter what. Mm -hmm. And that's hard because we've, you guys have gone through a lot when it comes to trust, you know, with random people. But I feel like it's just safe. Yeah. I think that's something that she has like implanted in us since we were kids. It's like always making sure like if you guys are gonna smoke weed or you gonna drink or you gonna try drugs or you gonna do something stupid or you wanna do this, you wanna do that, you wanna talk to me about this, we could always go to her to talk about it with mm -hmm. her. Yeah. And she'll always like she's not like the type of parent I feel like a lot of people it probably sucks because their parents are more like come to me when you wanna talk about it, but then you're gonna get your ass mm -hmm. beat. Yeah. Thanks. And so it's like with her, she's always been like very understanding, mm -hmm. which I she's feel like a, a lot mom. of how we are is definitely because of you and Thank how you. you are. I think if people meet yeah. mom, they'll understand like all of our separate uh, qualities that we got, mm -hmm. all of our individual qualities that we picked up from you. So, Thank so you. since Shout we're on you, that girl. touch, speak about... Hey, like, we haven't even got to oh. answer our question. Yet. No, oh. I feel the exact same way that mom does. Like mom literally took like everything that she said. That's exactly how I feel. Like communication where we all communicate very well with each other. And I think a lot of mom being our mom, that's why the way we are and how close we are. Like we're just a tight family with each other. Mm -hmm. And I think I've been telling you guys since you were little, whether you listened or not, that the most important thing is for you guys to always have each other's back. Yeah, facts. Always. We do, for so, sure. You do, and I'm so proud Ain't of nobody you. getting through us. So proud of you. Because oh, we the yeah. family. We the family. I definitely, I agree with you guys. Sorry, there was something going on in the background. I was okay. off topic. What were you <laughs> going to ask, though? Um, I saw, like, some comments. They wanted to, this was in, like, other YouTube videos and stuff, but everyone has always wanted you to touch on, like, the upbringing and like childhood for all oh three of us. I know it's a lot, but like, yeah. if you could like narrow it down in a little nutshell. What part of it? Like in a nutshell. parenting <laughs> is the hardest job ever. Oh, I mean, you've I know. done so good. Hey. And it's even harder as a, and honestly, like you. <laughs> what? what? He keeps moving it. Um, and what I would say I've been successful as a parent, um, call that success as a parent, is not what another mom would call success as a parent. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not, for me, it's not about how big your bank accounts are or what car you drive that makes, m that means that I've been a successful mom or that you're, you've done it. For me, that's not what it's about. That might be what it's about to some, another yeah. parent. For me, it's about what's the legacy you guys are my legacy. And what's the legacy you're leaving behind as a human being? And there's so much more to that than like your bank account. So to teach you that and to get to that, parenting was not easy. But you know how they say, um, nothing worth having is easy or, right? So your childhood was difficult. Like me just trying to figure out what type of parent I wanted to be, every decision you make as a young parent determines the type of human being you're going to put out. Mm -hmm. Like, I hate to say you're going to put out, but, like, I created people. <laughs> like, I created you. You're my tribe. I'm your leader. Mm -hmm. So that's a big job, right? I yeah. read every single book possible. Like, I knew I wanted to do it different than how my mom did it. She was a – my mom's an amazing mom, but – I knew I wanted to do it different. She was a little more old fashioned, right? Conservative. Like, yeah. Conservative. Super conservative. And yeah, I knew that I wanted it to be different. And so, yeah, I read every single book. I did lots of reflecting. I, ha I wrote in my journal. I have like, well, you guys know I have, um, I don't you even literally do have I a look journal over here. No, look at, you can, you don't have to look at the camera. You look okay. at us. Um, well, what I was saying is I wrote in my journal a lot. That helped a lot. My journal was more like, um, I wrote about what was happening and how I was feeling and then things that they did, things that they said I'm excited to and read like those. reflecting on oh, yeah. that <laughs> was, a, had yeah. a lot to do with parenting. So my problem is I just got into journal entries. 
Which but is crazy because I've been giving your journals since you were literally yeah. my age. Because I would always start. I would do like one journal mm-hmm. entry and then I would be like, all right. It's like I don't know what to write about. So I'm struggling yeah. with what, how do I approach it? Do I write like. All you write is what, about that day, how you were feeling that day. <clears throat> yeah, but I've done that and it doesn't do nothing for me. So I'm trying to find a different approach to it. Like, I don't So think I've been kind of doing, I've been writing about my day, but then I also, I add in there what I'm looking forward to for the next day. Okay. Instead of just like, all right, how was And this everyone's day? journal is going to look different. Like Yeah, because her journal is all the funny, all honestly, the funny, the like bad, all stories. the things, telling stories yeah. like the story Not that happened that it. day. <laughs> but a lot of it is like what you guys were doing because when you make something live, like you put it on paper, just like you put your questions on the board, right? It makes it more real yeah, when I, it's live. I remember mom saying for our anniversary, mom saying, uh, for my Sally's anniversary, she sent a picture of one of her journal entries, and it was like, Justice just brought this girl home, or, <laughs> or been talking about this Puerto Rican girl, yeah. and he's so like in love with her, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I think that they're going to end up being something. Yeah. And then a year and a half later, or a year later. I sent it on your anniversary. Sent it on our anniversary, and we're like, oh, shit. When do we get to read those? It's good so to you got to go find out what she wrote about. I know. I know. <laughs> yes. at, what, at what age? I did, so yeah. At it's what dead. age did do we get to read do the journals? Read yeah. I mean, whatever you want. I want to wait. I also, I mean, I've been writing I'm in older. a journal since I was eight, so there's a lot in there. But how many books? The point got? of a journal is it's just for you. I I think I'm on six right now. Bro, like six, six like full crazy. books, fat like books? two hundred pages. No, I mean not fat. They're like this, but you have to. But, but when you write in them, you lot. have to know that no. It, you have to let go of all that judgment. Like, you're doing it for you. Yeah, yeah, so, you don't have to limit yourself. No, and like, I, I didn't write in it thinking, oh, one day you're going to read this, so I need to be careful what I said. I just wrote down how I was feeling and what I was thinking, and that helped me with parenting, too, because it makes it live. Like, oh, shit, I said I told you so after Justice said that. Okay, I need to fix something. Have you still been writing in it, though? Because I feel yeah, like lately I, you haven't. I've. I think it's definitely slowed down the older you get uh, or the older I get. It's definitely slowed down. Um, And there are gaps. And, like, I know if you look back at it, you can tell, like, okay, there was something going on in my life because, like, there will be, like, a five-month gap and then I'll write, Mm -hmm. sorry, this is what's been happening. (laughs) Like, So speak so you feel like it's good for mental health. I really do feel like you could write a book, like, I honestly she do should. think she could write a book and be like one of the top novelists. Parenting like, 101. I guarantee yeah. you can write a, a, a book about parenting and that shit will blow the fuck Start up. Start doing if it. If you guys want mama. Hashtag life is what I would call it. Yes. <laughs> it's a good you one. shouldn't have said it. Hashtag proud I know. mama. Hey, you cut, <laughs> yeah. proud, bleep it out. Hashtag bleep that out mama. so nobody writes a book about that. All like, right. That would be. If y'all want her to write a book and you guys would buy that book to learn about parenting, your life. struggle, the come up life and like you don't even have to be I a parent down you below. don't even have to be a parent to read the book you could be like you could have questions about how your parents it. parented I you i would read it for the for mom's like her the way she's like goes about things very yeah. free soul like i would want to know exactly. like how do you how I'm do you always spirit. stay how do you always stay so positive cuz you're so one of happy. you're probably the one person that i know that even when you get mad, I just laugh because it's honestly funny. Like, I, I oh no no no! When mom's mad, I nah I can't. <laughs> that nah. When she's Why, it takes a I lot for her mad? to. How do you know when I'm mad? Oh, you, nah, I know when you're mad. <laughs> Huh? No, she. <laughs> Honestly, I have never seen mom fully, fully angry. I have. Actually, wait, yes, I have. But it's I been have. over the phone. <laughs> it's been over the phone, oh, but yeah. not in person. Mm. Bro, but she's like, who are you the softest on? Justice. Thank I'm, you. I'm probably the softest on justice. <laughs> See what I'm like, saying? Like, bruh. I'm, yeah, no, bro. When You're I'm, not hard on you. Mom, I'm when fragile. I fuck up. I'm what? fragile. I'm fragile. I'm <laughs> fragile. <laughs> no, you do. You are, she is the softest issue. Also because you are her first. And I feel like yeah, that plays yeah, a yeah. big part in it. But also. No, I think it has to do with what you're giving back. You will raise your voice at me. <laughs> okay, first he off, would, there, now not. just because you said that, everyone's gonna be in the comments no, 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 talking no. about you disrespect your mom. No, they do not. Like that's the thing. I just I can really tell you guys straight out, they do not dis. They I can maybe count on one hand the amount of times that I could say my kids have been disrespectful. 
They're not disrespectful, Peter. ever. Um, but I'm saying, like, I think sometimes... The tone of voice. The tone, like, I'm going to give what you're giving, you know? Like, but, you know, you're not... I just giving. feel like a big part of it is, like, I... You're I'd, a lot more passionate with the way you speak. Yeah, passionate I'm a little a bit more, like, all right, like, I'd rather just, like... Bye. You'd rather just be, like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I definitely have to get my point across <laughs> when it comes down to, like, a serious conversation... It doesn't matter who it like. It could be nanny or grandpa, and I'm still yeah. gonna like. Like you were the kid that would throw his body on the floor. Okay. And throw a fit. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just saying this is the difference. Just like you parent every kid differently. And then a you, lot of parents don't realize that. And then you have Jersey, which yeah. is a girl. Jersey's the. Which is yeah. you guys are like Aww. imagine like two sisters. If you can imagine two but sisters. But we're so different. An older we're sister and a younger sister. She's like jealous because she is in control and she knows no. she's not. But no, she's so, we're so different, yeah. But Jordan is the one who would, yeah, throw his body on the on the floor and say the devil is in him. <laughs> that's what was wrong, right? <laughs> the devil's in me. Did Justin? you just say that you guys are so different? <laughs> yeah. No. Mom, I Everybody think from the outside like, looking in, you guys are, are the exact same. What do you think? What do you, think? What do you think? What do you guys think? I think a really? big part of it is because I, I think a big part of it is like we can see like how she's gonna be when she's older. There's a lot of things that. Well, poor Anthony. <laughs> how did you like, make oh, three shit. good-looking kids? Like, no, what was the formula real. to the that? The grace shit? of God. <laughs> <laughs> the grace of God. I, I mean, prayed a lot. Jordan, I don't. Know. I think she kind of messed up. Whatever. <laughs> You're all three beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. How'd you make such but a perfect? We got dirty child? cute. Too. Not even the the <laughs> the best physical attraction, but how'd you make the Perfect the, oh, child. Okay. I know you're all. <laughs> like, let's let's, the perfect let's settle this. Child. Who's your favorite child? Oh my god! Come on, bro. Because baby, I know it's me. Have you ever heard it come out of her mouth that you're the favorite child? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't say. Have days. you justice? You have. <laughs> How many times? This no, is, for real. Who's the I'm favorite child? I'm not even child? gonna lie. I you guys know I never sit here and argue about this conversation. How many times? She knows. I know. Like, what's up? Like, <laughs> How many That's times have you though. heard he it? Did get me a coffee cup this time. I'm the chosen one. I was I'm first. favorite child. Bro. All right. <laughs> well, the Messiah. The Mom, Messiah. For real, we need to settle this right now. Who just really think about really? my name, Justice. Like, I'm not answering. I that. just keep it fair. Equal. No, I did kind of like, tell her my name is kind of basic. Like. <laughs> Come Not on. Mine. You got Jersey. I you hardly hear of Jersey. You ha you don't even hear of Justice. And then you got Jordan. I my name, my first name was supposed to be <laughs> Reese. supposed to be Reese. You two both. And they changed it to my middle name. Blame you two your dad both have common names. <laughs> Reese, it's Pete. No, you guys <laughs> yeah. have Justice is not a common name. You, yes, it is. Justice is not a common Justice name. Justice is a common name. Maybe not the way it's spelled. Wait, who do you know this name is Justice? Um, Justice, the soccer player. Justice, of uh, um... Our eyelash yeah. lady's brother, like, there's a lot of justices. But are they? Damn. Are they justice? But are, no. is there a jersey? There ain't is a there jersey. A jersey? <laughs> yeah, there's there's I've never met a jersey. Yeah. New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New Hampshire. What was the question? <laughs> I don't know. We got the so The question off topic. was uh, who is your favorite oh, child? Oh. Yeah. Mm. You don't have to answer, <laughs> sis. The middle child is always the one that gives the most problems, but is always the favorite child Here's but i child. what's crazy I is think you gave me the most problems what's crazy is i was expecting you to say you're the softest with jersey really? i wasn't you expecting know. justice but definitely now i can so see it softest with jersey I now think. i can you see see it? i just don't give mom issues she's definitely mm. not the softest with jersey no <laughs> she's the softest with you for sure i just <clears throat> feel you like feel we all like have that? different relationships absolutely a hundred percent we all have different relationships and i would have I have different expectations for each of you, which some parents would say is really fucked up. <laughs> but I do. Like, you know, I do. It's just like, um, I you know if, if something were to things. happen to me, I know Jordan would be the one to, like, know how to, like, get in my bank account and rally the well, troops I know what and, to do. and get you guys figured out. <laughs> like, you each have a different role. Yeah, what would you What do? would we do? <laughs> What? No, I'm talking about you too. What would we do? <laughs> oh, You're like shit. the impact. You would handle like the emotions of it. Okay. Yeah. Like so everybody, would this is what mom would want. That's you, Ty. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and a type more sure like, come on, let's go. Enforced. I got it up front. What, no, what are you, doing? You're you would enforce it. Like you would make sure. Yeah. Like I know that 
I'll be like, look, we gonna have a good time. Everybody yeah. gonna stay good. Jersey, stop stressing. Jordan, you need to stop fucking stressing. <laughs> Jordan, you're stressing yeah, Jordan me out. stresses. Everybody, let's I have stress for the good things though. Like yeah. I stress for the right reasons. No, but like we were talking about the other day, he needs to. He he doesn't give over his problem. I'm not trying to get religious and everything, but um, <laughs> one of the reason, one of the ways that I stay grounded and. I may appear that I'm always happy, right? I'm happy, but it's also because I can hand over when there's a problem, I can hand it over to God and be like, I'm going to pray about this and I have no control let over go. this and I'm going to let it go and I'm going to let him take over. Jordan is not doing that. <laughs> we need an intervention. And I told him when Let's he starts to, meditate when he starts to do that, yeah, or meditate, <clears throat> when he starts to do that, it's literally going to pull this like, weight off his shoulders but that's why he always appears stressed I do. I, he doesn't give it over to anyone at night like even last night i found myself like i was a little stressed and like me and Sully's were kind of like both like tight like you know you just yeah, trying yeah. to go to sleep and you're just thinking about how the shit whether it's bad or good mm -hmm. and you're just like <clears throat> just too much on your mind that's when you need to write down either i write in my journal sometimes i'll do both i'll write in my journal now but praying definitely for me like i feel like it's weird like i feel like a I know if I don't feel, once I say, like, amen, if I don't feel like a little, like, ooh, like a little chills or like mm -hmm. a, a weight lifted off my shoulder, I didn't pray the right way. So I'll go back and I'll pray. But I really do feel like a, it's weird. So It's just handing it over and having and it, that and it, feeling. Yeah, and it's like, I mean, shit, it's better to have faith than to just try to stress about it. Yeah, I was like, whose child is this? It's like when you were little. <laughs> whose child is this? It was like when you were little and we'd pray before bedtime. You'd immediately go to sleep after you said, tell Papa hi, Do you guys Amen. still pray before like, bed? Yeah, I still uh, say that exact same you? prayer. And that's well, say, why. Tell Papa you know what I've been stressed yeah, about lately? Pray? Yeah, I do. What was the word where you always think that you're sick? Oh, yeah, you're a hypochondriac. I really think that. I really think I have that. <laughs> Melissa, Dude. Thinks, Melissa thinks you do, too. Like Melissa was like, oh my gosh, she's something wrong. With like me. I think I'm sick right now, but I feel completely fine. I just like you're so extra. Just don't I think feel you're just good. worried about getting. No, sick. it's not that I don't it feel good. It's also like, life. well, yeah, that's one thing that I hate doing is I hate getting sick because I I look forward to so much things throughout the week. Yes. And like I just think, okay, if I get sick on Sunday and I don't have anything till Friday, yeah. I'll be good. <laughs> yeah. But like I if I start feeling sick on Wednesday. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do that thing on Friday. So then I start overthinking. Can we I soccer start. Soccer game? That's so me. Damn, that's crazy. I didn't even. No, know. I really do think <laughs> I'm sick. All that you always think that you're sick too. I said you need to meditate. No, no he I does, always he do needs think to pray that I'm sick. If you learn to say, "I can't control this. I'm gonna get sick or I'm not," that's you giving it to God. You're not gonna worry about it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So I get body aches. Y'all need to yeah. be doing like you need, think we need about to come Jesus. Talk. Where both of you need to be doing it because. Like, we don't have half on our plate. Like, I mean, everybody has different areas of what's stressful, right. but we don't have half on our plate as probably you guys have with, like, with the girls. Kids, yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, you got, you know, kids are expensive, so you got the money, like, problems, shit like that. You got to you gotta figure out how to unwind. Yeah. And, like, that's why I go to the gym. If I don't go to the gym, I feel like, if I don't go to the gym for, like, two days, I feel like, Ugh, I really do want to try and meditate, but I just feel like do. I can't get my brain to like do yoga. It's, just like, it's a lot more simpler than people think. Like people think it's like you gotta really like. It's it's like I don't know. I, I always thought like, you put meditate? on that audio. It's different for everyone. He probably okay. does it a lot different. You see, Nick. Nick is like he's always <laughs> he's high. So he's calm. like, yeah, 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 I'm here. <laughs> no, he's just at peace, <laughs> and it will change your he life. Is no, I've at definitely peace. seen Nick stressed out though, and that shit is it's a different funny. Nick. That shit is well, almost and funny, you need bro. To remember, <laughs> you have two little people uh. watching you. It's just like put yourself back as a kid with me, right? If I was super high strung and wound up tight. How would it have affected you? So if you're not going to do it for you, do it do for it your for kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do it for the future, your life and how you want to be relaxed. Like I'm that. just saying. A lot of people want to know, speaking of being high and meditating, <laughs> oh. are you guys 420? <laughs> Smoking it up. Y'all are teaching Chong. I mean, I am 18 one. years old now, so like, you're I guess not old like. Enough yet. <laughs> so, weed, you do smoke weed. 
I passed that mic to the brat and you went past me. Girl, what? Why'd you sound Jamaican? I passed the mic. You obviously don't know about that line. It's a big one. That's when mom went viral. No, I do know what it's about because that's what just came up in my head. So I do. Right to the funk and the end it can't get. I know. That's why I keep hitting them with this grammar. Letting all y'all know that I'm a real mama jamma. Straight to the head like a chronic sack. I pass that mic to the And yo, I passed it bad. Well, I sisters and bellas. No, I'm. I would <laughs> literally say, get rid of all every drop of alcohol on earth, and everybody smoke weed. Do you see where Sell I get it, it from? Sell it at Circle K. Do you see where I get it from now, guys? <laughs> yeah, the no alcohol. I've traumatized. I uh, know people were coming for me. Like, I don't understand that people have hard lives. Okay, I. Uh, 100 percent understand that people have in the comments. no <laughs> i understand that people have hard times and go to work and come back and they want to drink and unwind or whatever and be relieved i'm not telling you guys what to do with your life i'm mm -hmm. just saying from my opinion just like you think my opinion is wrong and you think drinking is cool we agree with two different things we but agree to disagree yeah exactly so let's just agree to disagree i don't want to get chewed out in the comments <laughs> For my beliefs. But you're, you don't have a problem with weed. I don't have a problem. I actually just started we smoking just again. smoked the other day. I don't <laughs> How even was smoke. it? I don't even smoke no I know. more. How I know. I it? stopped smoking, stopped drinking. Well, you I never, took one hit. I stopped hit. smoking weed a long time ago. <laughs> so proud of you. Buddy. But I took one hit because I was like, I really didn't want to smoke. But when I got there, I also didn't want to like just be like the awkward peer one pressure all. yeah kind of you bit. should not feel peer pressure around i wasn't us. peer pressure we but were over there like, like take it dude <laughs> hit the blunt i was i i had it, it went to me and i had to pass to the next person so i was like might as well just like hit it one time it's not gonna do nothing hit Did it, it one time i was so <laughs> my tolerance is messed up but i just <clears throat> i got high we started playing this game i was tripping now what are the that odds game? game the game i got oh, so was nice. nice. I huh? was tripping balls. I was like, I, I was paranoid with that game. So I was, was like, I. And that's why I kept trying stupid. to tell you guys. <laughs> I kept trying to tell you guys, bro, let's change the game. Yeah, like, Jersey was like, I felt wow. mad on I'm like, bro, let's can we change just change this game? This game? No, it was funny. It was. Were you afraid? Well, it was, well did you hear when Anthony had to call Dida? No. Bro, Anthony, it was like disrespectful. Anthony like, called that shit Dida was way out of line for a second. So he had to He had to call somebody in his contacts, I think, and talk about a topic that we all chose. And so he goes, oh, why did he yes. did that? Because it, it, I, I was just like, just he call Dida because it was just, it. it's oh. just funny. And uh. so he calls Dida. He just answered the call, answered, and Dida was like, Anthony. And then he, because you know, when Anthony calls him, he probably thinks something's wrong with right. Jersey. So Anthony goes, hey, daddy, Dida. <laughs> oh my God. And Dida goes, what the fuck? <laughs> And then so they funny. had like a little conversation. And I had to call Zalma and say that I had a crush on Pablo. So oh. that was just. I had was feelings. No, so that I, I had feelings, feelings for, for Pablo. Pablo. I felt so uncomfortable because I have Anthony sitting right here. Obviously, I don't have a crush on Pablo. But it was what just did she weird. Say? She was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> so least, like, it was fun. So at least but had to get on Omegle for 60 seconds and flirt with a dude. She knew what me. to do. <laughs> she had it. I Justice know. was waiting until I it hit 59. Timer, he was like, right? time's up. <laughs> I said, all right, get off that shit. But now that I think about it, it probably was not the best game to play. I just, it was not funny. high. Nah, it it's was a funny, fun game, but that, not high. Like, I haven't it played it much. yet. I think that game just that's a definitely game unlocks personalities no. in a group. Like it'll really? make someone that's shy come out, come out that's a little bit. I agree. <laughs> like, yeah, it was I would cool. love to see Nick play dude, that shit. I know you did play it. Oh yeah, he did play it. Hey, I'm not even gonna lie. There was one dude that pulled up. I was high, so I wasn't really paying attention. But there was one dude that pulled up and gave me like the weirdest vibe. I, I don't know, know if it was because it was I was high. No, I think At he Jordan's? was drunk. He's cool though. Like he is cool, but it was probably because you were high. So yeah. you get paranoid when you're. No, only when I'm around people. If I'm if just smoke, just, just at the yeah. crib, or even like. <laughs> Like, if I'm just by myself, I'm vibing. I'll put on, like, some Nipsey Hustle or some Brent Fires and just... But uh -huh. I haven't... I that ha that hasn't been for, like, a year. Yeah. yeah. But, all right, so you are... We know you take your your little your little uh, edibles. No, I don't. Sleep. No, she doesn't. Oh, not no more? I don't take those anymore. Uh-uh. I used to take gummies that help me sleep, yeah. Because I have a really hard time sleeping just because I can't turn my brain off. Um, but no, I don't take those anymore. So nothing against it. You just don't do it. But I'll smoke if, yeah, if the time is right and everything's like, it just depends. Like the medicine I'm on, I sometimes I can't. So 
Okay. But I'm all for it. Yeah. So I feel like a big a big thing that you used to touch on a lot on your jersey, on your TikToks and Instagrams was like mental health. And I feel like that was a big reason as to why you started your new brand, Flutter. Mm -hmm. And that's like <clears throat> the story behind it. You know, you got the butterflies, ah, ah. So, ah, ah, <laughs> ah, yo, what am I mom? You feel me, bro? Bruh. The metaphor of the butterfly. So is... where, how, yeah, what, um, yeah. how is your mental health journey been with like, obviously going through like hard times and then coming out of that and being so like positive now and having a like, brand like what's the meaning behind the brand what's your goals with flutter mental health all that um well my mental health has definitely been really good like mom has seen it how how i've been like at my lowest point and then i feel like i've just really realized how to be like independent and kind of do my own thing and like find my own happiness rather than like i don't want to say like almost like just finding my own happiness in general so it's been um, a journey for what's sure. your, yeah. since you were six. What do you like, feel like is your secret to finding your own happiness? Finding peace within, I think, would be what it is. That's so hard. That's yeah. so hard to answer. Like, what what advice would you give other people if they're going through hard hardships and they're like, you know, they look up to you because of how you've overcome certain obstacles in life? And I feel like the main out. thing, like, on how I've figured it out is really honestly just not caring about other shit like I would say like especially being on the internet it's been really hard obviously because I have uh, thousands and thousands of people coming at me for little stuff and so like I've really realized to just block everything out and try to just kind of focus on myself and like I said find my happiness and something like advice that I would give is kind of just try your hardest not to care about what other people think and really like it's so hard to as a girl I also think one of the things you've done really well over the years is learn to be proud of yourself. Yeah. It's like True. when, you know, kids are little and you say, I'm so proud of you. Really what you should be saying is, aren't you so proud of yourself? So mm. they find that intrinsic pride that they're giving that to themselves. Like I did this for me, mm -hmm. not for, not so that you can give me a reward, not so you can tell me, but, and I think over your journey, that's what I've seen. Yeah. Is it became more about intrinsic pride. Like, I've wow, gained a lot like, of confidence, too, I would say. Like, I'm confident definitely. in the things that I do and the way that I carry myself. So it's hard to say, like, oh, go ahead and do this because I feel like everyone's journey is very different. Like, the way that I found my confidence might not be the way that you find your confidence, you know? So, like, everyone's journey is different and that's kind of just like what I would say you have to find your own path in that way but for me like mental health wise confidence everything like I've been doing really freaking good which I'm so and happy talking of. about it I think you guys probably don't remember because I think you were in LA but when she was probably at her lowest and struggling the most she started um, Ask Lil Jers the website mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. her subscribers like her supporters could write in, and it was almost like a forum for everyone. They could write in and talk about like what they were going through, what they were feeling, and then she would talk about, you know, she would choose like some topics and talk about it like How did once that a do week. When you... It did good. It did good, and I think it helped a it lot did of really young good. girls. Yeah. But more importantly, it helped her mm -hmm. and helped her kind of get through well you get to see all of like through. i got to see all of the subscribers kind of go through the same thing that i was like going you're not through. alone like yeah. you know i like definitely feel shows. like being able like feeling like you're able to relate to other people definitely comforts you when yeah, it comes down to sure. mental health and i also feel like for my subscribers too like for my supporters they like i feel like that's kind of why i've done so good and people look up to me because they realize that they can relate to me and I've said it multiple times like you're not alone in this everyone goes through a breakup everyone goes through bullying like I've made it very known and not like hid that stuff and not talked about it you get what I'm saying like kind of just pushed it off to yeah. the side so. I feel like it's crazy too because all social media if you guys haven't realized is like turning into now people are focusing more on like they're falling more in love with influencers that are more relatable oh, for sure. and like sharing their their problems their everyday more life personal. like there's people blowing up from literally just showing their i wake up i go work at subway 
I come home, I do this, this, and that. My day sucked. Boom, 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 boom. This is me taking off my makeup. They're blowing up off more relatable shit mm -hmm. because people, I think, got tired of like seeing fake shit, uh -huh. seeing the fake shit, and 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 looking up to these people that only show the good and only yeah. show like being so perfect. And that's kind of totally where agree. I'm transitioning my content into. Um, with this new style content is I'm showing more like daily like yeah. life shit instead of like trying to pick up a camera and just have and like, I would a always stage. say though too I feel like, like you guys I feel are like all doing that's a what good I'm, job at that like what I was gonna say is that I feel like the reason why everyone messes with us so much and looks up to us is because they see with the family how real we genuinely are like it's not we're faking it in any type of way you get what i'm saying that's why i feel like we've done so good over the past few years because like we said like people nowadays don't want to see anything that's fake like they yeah. don't care to see all the fake shit they'd much rather see someone who's real and like letting you know okay i had a shitty day today so i feel like yeah. that's like and a I big think, thing i don't even and it's crazy because for some reason i've been feeling a lot recently like the the way like i said everything's turning in to where people are starting to like like authentic influencers with us being consistent and staying true to yourselves like we have a lot of potential in the next five to ten mm -hmm. years with this stuff if you are constantly figuring out how to elevate your content mm -hmm. but also staying true to yourself because like i said it's transitioning into now where people want to connect with influencers like us that are talking about stuff like this that are yeah. showing their everyday mm -hmm. lives so I think I'm that's excited. difficult too, just to do as a rule. When you step out of your house, you're like, some people just put on this facade. Yeah. So once you Especially. get to the point where you are who you are, no matter where you are, you're at peace. And there's yeah. this huge misconception that anybody on the internet, and like you guys, you have this, you know, you have unlimited friends. And you're glorified. Yeah, yeah, and it can be a very lonely place. Yeah. So being able to talk, and and when supporters go online and see that this is real like you have bills to pay you have mm. issues with friends and family and blah, blah blah like you're right i think that's probably why it's crazy that's too because a lot of the top influencers like there's times where i'll sit back and i'll be like i like i see a lot of influencers that i'm like i just hate that i know them in real life and mm. they're just really not it and like not I just, what you see not what they put off on yeah in, on the internet and it's just crazy because those people are the people that have the biggest followings and imagine the yeah. mind fuck they go through so, every morning looking it's about 90 percent of the people on social media it's yeah. crazy because it's just like bro like if you guys really knew if people really knew who they were idolizing they would like they would just be I like, feel like that's what yeah. gives us the most peace when it comes to the social media stuff and how it's so easy for us to like continue like it continue is because it, it's not stressful to put on an act like right it's and that's why you see and I think all three of you do really good and Raylene you guys do really good at showing exactly who you are yeah like these are my stripes you either like them or you don't like yeah and that's why a lot of influencers don't do um meet and greets i learned because they're so afraid to show the like, true yeah. them in all person. of our meet and greets i think it's time it's been like i think it's time for us to do another we could do meet one more before i head sure. to miami because why don't you guys do one when you're in la or no time i mean Ooh. we could but that shit would be popping even though i hate la let's just put that out there huh. but the thing is is like we don't have anyone that like like almost like how we did it at leslie's thread you know uh -huh. like we don't have anyone i do i know you hello, might but well, you guys have there's all kinds of places you could do it. Yeah, think about it. Table that thought. <laughs> Table that thought. It would just, yeah, we'll, we'll think about that one. Uh, we've never did an L.A. meet and greet. And that's never. one of the oh, you biggest haven't? fan base. I mean, I did like one. Like, Honestly, like as much as we like think. Like 2018 at an Urban Outfitters. Like, on Melrose. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't like, do that. Hey, You'll get No, it's crazy. Like, there was like five or ten, five to ten people that But those came. five people, five to ten people came they drove. from different states. Aww. Las Vegas, that's San crazy. Diego. I feel like L.A. is like 
one of our biggest like place or like Arizona, where we have a lot LA. of supporters. But I also feel New like York, you would be Arizona, we have a lot. Like, New, New York just have shows to be love every time I'm Yeah, out New, New York always, has always been like. I want to go always, to New York. I'm planning. A, I want to plan a trip to New York. Well, so. bro, like I'd be me and Raylene just got a plug to the Hilton, so we're gonna Yo, we, we can start it. traveling and getting fifty percent off these hotels. Yeah, that's crazy. That's awesome. That's definitely clutch. I think that's the hardest part about traveling is. Expensive. Not the flight, it's the stay. It's the stay, yeah, for sure. And then it's I would also so like. I'd rather stay at Airbnb. But. Yeah, nah. I honestly, I like Airbnbs, but I would rather a hotel because you don't have to worry about really cleaning up everything. Yeah, that's nice. Come back you don't gotta, and be clean. You can come the, back and, like, room service already hit your room. Fun fact Jordan has OCD, he is a neat freak. Yeah, he is. I don't have like, I feel like I'm not he's legit gotten, diagnosed with OCD, like, but I think even though since when you've gotten with Raylene, you've relaxed on it. Like you're not very like she's like what he's relaxed. No, at least like from what I see, I feel like you're not like all the time like. That's how I feel about Dida. The older he gets, the less he's on time. The less he's mm. Dida is not on time. He's no not more. on time because the less us. he answers his phone. He's always on time. It's just that I think what he's. Because I'm not on time, he's Wants just to like... Wants to save the argument. Yeah, we're not going to argue. We'll just get there when we get there. Like, I do sure. not like I feel to it. be told when... <laughs> I'm just happy that Raylene is always on time. She's yeah, she is on time. Early, you guys are early always is her on time. time, so that's why I'm like, all right, cool. Raylene will make sure that she's for me, doing her like makeup a, for three hours I don't want to be told. Like, it's more like a restriction. Like, I'm going to get there when I get there. That's... I'm so I like just... I, I purposely, like, no. I swear... I show up late to everything. Me and Sally's do. On purpose. Yeah. No, it's but you not do. On do it on purpose. He likes it's, to be fashionably late. I have a <laughs> terrible I have a terrible understanding of time frames. Of That's my fault. Understanding, okay, it's gonna take me thirty minutes to get there. So I think I could leave thirty minutes before <laughs> when realistically I should be leaving an hour before because That's, I know all the bullshit getting downstairs, gotta do way. this with the dogs. Got to fill up the water bottles. Got to fill up their water. Well, Got to take them out. You were always on time to practice, to basketball. <laughs> same with Jordan. So you just need to, like, act like. Yeah, no, like shit that. I know that, like, I, like shit that I get excited for, I'll be on time. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, but, like, facts. so you're always late to mom, so are you not excited so to go to mom? So you're not excited to see us? No, we've just learned to tell him the different time. If it starts at 11, we tell Justice to be there at 10. Yeah. That's what you need to do with me, too. Yeah. Definitely. How is Mama University? I feel like no one's ever asking you guys questions. So how's Mama <laughs> University for you guys? Mama, for Uni- you? Mama University for me is like, has been a constant just up and down, like just battle. Like really? I, I, and it's always me. Like the thing that I've learned about everything that I'm doing in life is that whenever I put my mind to something, whenever I focus on it, it does good. Like mm-hmm. if I, put in the if I map it out and I put in the work it always does good there's never been anything where I've been like oh I think uh or for example like I'm like oh I want to blow up on YouTube and like I did all the work and then it doesn't happen or I want to get what you put in good at it. basketball and I do that or clothing brand whatever it is so what I've been doing with mama university is it's it's a lot of my fault is I'll be like ready to go and do it but then I just won't act on it and then I'll do shit like so last minute by doing drops like within two weeks and not mapping out the right way so I think what I did recently was after this last drop is like I told myself like I need to really sit back and I would rather not drop something for like four months and get all the groundwork together yeah. kind of like what I did with my new content for YouTube mm-hmm. And like figure you want to put more effort into yeah, it Yeah, like, almost? for sure. Like, I want it to be a business that's not so, like, oh, okay, how much can Jay Cook sell? Like, how much supporters of Jay Cooks are going to buy this? It's more of, like, it's a brand. Like, mm-hmm. Mama University is, I'm marketing on TikTok, got yeah. the Instagram going, got, like, you know, content shoots planned, know what we're dropping months ahead, like, have a fulfillment center where they're shipping the shit out on time because that's a big thing. It's like, mm-hmm. I'm ship. me and Sally are over here packaging, you know, 300, 400 orders. And it's like, this is hard to do that with just two people. Yeah. You know, you got to. Mm, we've offered to help you. You have, but it's like, my thing it's is, I don't want to put. It's easier to do it yourself. I yeah, think. I don't want to put my family to work for, you know what I'm saying, something that I'm getting paid for. Yeah. Because well, we did it before like, and we'd do it again. So. I know. Remember yeah, back know in the day. Just like how if I ask you to start packaging flutter orders, <laughs> you better be doing it. Remember so back in the day, like, 
I don't know if it was your first drop of the sweatshirts, but it was like at the there loft. was like a bunch of different yeah. colors. Do you remember? Bro. Everything you really, was like out. That was a that nightmare. Was, yeah. yeah. To make it short, we packaged all these orders. My mom hit the Excel sheet down. <laughs> She messed up. She I did. didn't. Jordan totally hit that button. I did not. I put that on everything <laughs> I love, bro. I did not. Why did I not? Was, it no was arrow. mom because I remember yeah, her saying, I oh, oh Oops. what happened? <laughs> okay, just I think I messed something that. up, Jay. I said. All we had to do uh, was press command so it like, Z. It like re. Oh. It, it, it dropped messed every up the, order. Yeah. Everybody's, everybody's first and last name and the actual order that they purchased, it dropped it down one line. So every single order was wrong. And that was like, that was probably the most orders I've got at one time. Yeah. That was like 650 orders. Oh my God. Which was so expensive for inventory. Oh. Like tens of thousands of dollars. Shipped it out. Messed up so bad on it. Cause we got every you order wrong. redid the whole thing. See, right? I don't want to have order to order everything that. again. And then I know you ship it back out. Any. I don't want to have but, to uh, that one. Yeah, with Mama University, I think once we once I figure out this plan and I sit down and I map it all out, it'll be a great brand. I'm, I'm yeah. working on a new manufacturer to have like more quality items and not have so many mistakes with like, you know, my vision for it compared to what the manufacturer can produce. So uh, we're going through a whole different country for that and stuff like that. So hopefully what it's about exciting you? to watch. Well, Jordan, how's music? What's what's oh. the tea? I mean, there's not really. I just talked about it on the last podcast. I just uh, I just found a new distribution company, so Sweet. it just it's making everything so much more easier, and um, I'm able to like. Long story short, the last distribution company that I went through, I couldn't like when I worked with a second writer on the on the project or the on the song, and then a separate producer, I had to like put in my splits in a different website and do all these numbers and stuff. Now I can just through this distribution company, they do it all in one. So I just, when I upload the album, I put in all the credits, I put in the lyrics, everything. If there's music videos to go on Apple music, I can upload those right there. And then I just press submit and I pay literally $35 a year in unlimited drops. I was actually about That's to awesome. ask you, do you think you can make me a, a, a intro song or <laughs> It's it's the good I probably li have one. Welcome to the good yeah. life, but I need mm. by Kanye West, mm. but I need it with your voice and a little bit of like a playing with the oh, instrumental a cover? so it doesn't get copyrighted. Mm. That's Poor a cool Kanye. shit. Welcome to the good life. Yeah. The Stop life I live when I thought married. that I was going to go crazy. We uh, married. Good job, did you did Cook, did, and I'm Me and Raylene get to tour our first wedding venue tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I want to go. I meant That's to ask, crazy. can I go? Can yeah. I join? Cuz mom's so not going. I can't go. And then Thursday, you I'll guys are you meeting with your wedding of it. planners. Oh. You guys are doing multiple yeah, one day? Go. No, we're just doing one tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to yeah. well, hit up a couple. You showed me the, like, uh, by the mountains. It's got, like, the mountain no, no, no. view and shit. No. Oh, we gonna be she doesn't sick. want to. So sh <laughs> we her. agreed with the <laughs> ceremony like, outside. I, like, I would want the whole wedding outside. Like, to wear, oh, like. Oh, not the one. You didn't. You showed me one that I thought. She no, yeah, like half yeah. Half, right? So she wants. So we agreed with. I get the ceremony outdoors, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then she gets the party indoors. Okay. And so the she gets floor. the longer part. Yeah. I just Please get ten put minutes. Her in yeah. charge of the party because you're gonna be like, <laughs> no alcohol. Oh my. No this. No. Well, no, you're we're not actually won't, no. What we were talking nah, about. I'm gonna drink on special occasions. <laughs> is we're gonna it's have. Actually, not common. You're gonna to get have faded. An open bar. I'm getting like, smacked at your. Oh, we're gonna have an open bar. You're, I'm gonna do some stupid shit at your. You have to have an open bar. No, you don't. We're gonna have an open bar. It's just we're gonna tell we're gonna tell the bartender do half shots. Nah, go buy your own bottles. Yes. And bring them to the. Alcohol yeah. is expensive. Have your own little booze. We could just tell everybody bartender. like Bring a couple like a couple weeks before the wedding, we could say, uh, drop off a bottle that you want at our house and yes. we'll have it at the wedding. Yes. And like everybody can just buy a bottle and or that's like it. a donation. I'm telling you because alcohol is I promise you, is the most expensive part next to food for a wedding. And it's not common for people to have an open bar. Oh, just to let you know, we're not doing no. We don't want to do steak and mashed potatoes. We want tacos, the real shit. Yeah, tacos chilango. Yes, yeah, we don't be we're gonna get tacos, rice, beans, yummy, pozole, everything. That's, cool. That's mm, good. I mean, it's better than tomatoes and cheese. Yeah, but tomatoes um, and cheese. No, I think it. I think this is a really good episode. I think it cleared up um, the things that they want to learn about you, and we finally got mom on the mic. Yeah. 
So thank that's you guys for coming. That's why. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, We're can I read the message? This, guys, by the contact? Way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my I mom, she so sent me and Justice in a group. No, I mean, <laughs> this is a. Bro, what is ten seconds gonna do to your podcast? Really? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> she sent a message, <laughs> and it was basically like a little contract <laughs> because she's getting on the podcast today, and she mm-hmm. goes. I hear you are wanting the mama to appear on your upcoming podcast on Tuesday, January 17th. (laughs) For the deliverable of an in-person interview and the mama sharing her knowledge with your audience, the exchange in lieu of monetary obligation, (laughs) she requests lunch with Jay Cook and Reese with the requirement of all technology devices surrendered within eight minutes of start of conversation. (laughs) That's really important. Within eight minutes? Additionally, the mama and guests will be sat at a booth with sufficient natural lighting for possible photography (laughs) opportunities. There shall be unlimited Pepsi refills and a clean restroom within close proximity to the booth. Full dressing room rider available upon request. Love you. <laughs> That's funny. Like, but girl. yeah, so I sent that at like one o'clock in the morning, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, we, let's we could get lunch this week. When no, are you guys getting after back this. in the or, I know. Huh? I gotta get back in because I'm slow as shit on the field. I'll be honest. Once I started playing soccer again, I just stopped because that was like my little. That's my energy you boost that, get, no, that I get I out. I need to go. Do some push-ups or something at the crib. Like, bulk up. It's bulking season. You got to get right for the summer. Bro, I don't. Yeah. First we got, off, I gotta we got right. my birthday mm-hmm. trip. I'm thinking to What Loon. birthday trip? <gasps> Wait, you ain't even so talking about no birthday trip. Oh, that's crazy. Ooh. What I didn't tell you guys? No, you told me. <gasps> oh, I'm not, I, did, I just forgot to send it. I have to send it to you, but you're definitely invited. Send it. So it was it's a message. You sent out a message. Oh, yeah, I'll read you the message. You're wow. invited to. It's Wait. basically a bunch of us, all my friends, mom. Yeah. It's all my friends. So, like, <laughs> so we'll, no we'll celebrate before. Yeah, no, I totally get that. <laughs> Yes. That's so, crazy. No, I get that. It's going to be a wild trip. That's why. I, it's Plus, I'm going to need to keep the girls. Yeah. Sex. So, April, we're going to go to Tulum, Mexico. And basically, we're going to do a reality TV show series <laughs> for my birthday. Where oh, I'm gonna that's lit. Shit. Oh, we're going to have an interview. You're coming. We're going to have Yo. an interview area. Nick. I'm going to have Snoop and Nick on double teaming the, f- the footage. Uh, you might need one more person. I'm gonna be honest. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be it. so we gonna think stir some shit up. That'll be fire, bro. We're gonna have interview bro. like mid, mid, uh, mid episode interviews and shit where people are gonna come in like, Justice was drunk as fuck and uh, he was annoying the yes. shit out of me. Wait, <laughs> why Tulum? Because you know Mexico is like a hot. It's very, now. it's very cheap flights. Okay. Tulum is very way cheap. Airbnb. That's what's. I know up. my way around it. I know exactly what I didn't do last time, and I know the spots to take everybody to. Me and Fat Fat's gonna go. He Feels knows safer. with me. And the Airbnbs are dummy nice for the price. Like okay. it's the only place I could think of that I could get everybody to pay for their own flights and pitch in on the Airbnb where they're not gonna be spending more than a thousand dollars. Oh, this like, is gonna yeah. be lit. What? And then we got lit. excursions. We're gonna do all the crazy shit like. Gonna We're gonna go to the cenotes and <laughs> I'm not skydiving just be for fun. 100. I'm you, skydiving, I will we are look back up at you guys. We are parasailing. Hell no! I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hey. And we're gonna have we're gonna have games too, I like know. for inside the house, like like some like dope ass like. Can you make like at least like at least one sober game for me? <laughs> nah, it's not all gonna be drinking because I'm not trying to be drunk the whole time. Like I quit you drinking. You wanna enjoy it? Only for special occasions, but. I might have like a day or I might I'm have some so drinks. I'm so happy but about that. Bro. I'm cool off getting blacked out. Like, I'm not fucking with that. Good. Shit. Well, thank you guys for coming on the podcast. I hope everybody enjoyed this it was one. Fun. Can uh, I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Um, Flutter is going to be dropping a Valentine's <laughs> Day drop. So make sure you're prepared. Go follow When are you going to start exciting. promoing? Um, we're figuring soon. that out. We're figuring it out. It's in Since the Since we're doing drops, yeah, I'm, I'm dropping. Like, I gotta I'm, let Nick know. I got a tape dropping on the 27th, so <laughs> I got my new uh, my new series of content called The Good Life dropping Woo-woo! Monday at um, 3 and p.m. I have a novel Monday. coming out. No. You have what? <laughs> 3 p.m. A novel. Yeah, yeah. Mom, Mama has a book coming out. And if so you want ready. her to start on a book, let me know. Let her know yeah. in the comments because she reads the comments. Yeah. Every so, comment. Love you guys. Thank you guys for coming to another podcast, and we out this thing. Mama. Mama. Yeah.